How you guys doing? Welcome to your new online course at Davidson County Community College. So I'm going to be using this format here uh, to present to you videos on demand. It's not going to be like the regular semester where I put up a lecture and talk for about 90 minutes, uh, reading off slides about half the time and the other half of the time uh, getting into specifics. So what we're going to be doing uh, this semester, the rest of the semester, is I'll be doing videos on demand. If you have a, a specific question about something or a concept, I can prepare a video for you and I can do things like show you how to solve problems online and explain them as I go along. Like most instructors at Davidson County Community College, we've had to do this on the fly, kind of figuring this out as we go along. So I'm not really at Davidson County Community College, and that's not really uh, the bookstore from 10 years ago behind me. So what I've got here is a green bed sheet that's kind of hung from the ceiling, and I can move it aside, and you can see the window of the room that I'm in. And it works fine as long as the, the bed sheet is still hanging there and not you know showing a little corner <laughs> like this over here. I'll be putting a PowerPoint presentation up over here or solving a problem. And you know this is due to the COVID-19 restrictions on uh, the chemistry classes at DCCC have abruptly transitioned to online. It was as of March 23rd, we're no longer for meeting class or labs on campus, although this might change. Stay tuned uh, for specific details regarding your class. And please uh, practice your uh, social distancing. Uh, wash your hands for 20 minutes or so. And I know some of you haven't checked online on Moodle, but you do check your social media. So this is a message to you guys. If you want to see the later parts of the video that have to do with your specific class, you've got to go online. So here's a breakdown of the new grading policy. If you take a look at the syllabus that I handed out on the first day of class, we're breaking away from that since now we're shifting more towards working online rather than in person. And let me just show you what the differences are. So Newton, instead of being worth only 8%, is now worth 30%. And the labs are still worth 20% of the grade. The labs that I haven't handed back to you yet, the ones that you were there for, I'm going to put in as 100%. So you get a perfect grade for the ones that you were there for and that you handed in a lab. If you weren't there, you're not going to get credit for it. But if you were, even if you were late, you'll get credit for it. The exams, uh, just 25% of the grade. And the final exam is also 25% of the grade. And don't know the format of these exams yet. So as of today, we're not allowed to meet in person on campus. So I won't be able uh, to proctor the exams, and we'll have to just take that as it comes. It's going to be at least a couple weeks before the next exam. So when we get closer to the date, then I'll figure out what we're going to do. So I'll get into each one of these in more specifics right after this. Newton was something that you all used during the semester, and it's taken on a greater importance during the class since this is the primary way that most of you are going to get the information delivered to you. This is why I increased the percentage in the grade at the end of the year. But also, there's some changes to this. So in addition to the increased percentage point, I'm going to be taking more out. So in the beginning of the semester, I let you know I'm dropping the lowest 20%. That's um, increased. So now I am dropping the lowest 50%, or actually, the other way to look at it, half empty, half full, is that I'm using only the top half of the chapters in your final grade calculation. Okay, furthermore, from each chapter, I'm removing the two lowest scores that you have. 
These are going to be posted as before. So each chapter is going to appear along with the lecture notes and the Newtons and also the supplemental lectures below. But the difference is the due dates are going to be set to the last week of the semester. So any new homework that is posted, the due dates are all going to be the same during the last week of the semester. So this is a warning. I know some of you waited until 10 minutes before the due date to actually do the activity. If you do that this time, it's going to be a disaster. You probably only get one or two of them done, and you probably end up with a really bad grade on them. So you can go at your own pace because I don't have the staggered due dates anymore. I'm not taking you on a very you know slow walk through the park, just putting everything at the finish line. But keep in mind, there is a finish line. So you can work at your own pace, but you also have to make sure that you finish at least 50% of the chapters in Newton with a good grade by the time the end of the semester comes. Labs and workshops were the times that we met once a week for about two hours and 50 minutes while you were doing something practical in the lab following a set of instructions. Since we can't meet in person anymore, these are going to be very, very different. The first lab already went up. It was the survey, and some people had problems getting into it. If you ever have a problem with something, it's important that you contact me right away. If you have a problem doing something and you just use that as a reason not to complete it, it's going to still be not completed. If you tried to click on the survey and were unsuccessful, I know about this, so I'll give you most of the credit for doing that. But most people were able to complete that survey. Some people didn't even bother, and that's just like not turning in the assignment. But we can't meet for two hours and 50 minutes a week anymore, and we can't do practical labs anymore. The uh, labs that are available online are more like a game like Half-Life or uh, Quake Arena where you run around and you blow things up and doesn't really teach anything. It's a lot of fun to do that. It's kind of like a first-person shooter running around the lab breaking things and uh, getting yelled at for not putting your goggles on. But it, it's more fun than actually a learning experience. So I'm really going to shy away from any of those experiences unless if I find one that really helps. But in the meantime... This is how labs will be graded. Just like the Newton, I'm only going to count half of them. So at the end of the semester, I'm going to take all of your lab grades and only count the half highest of them. And as I said before, all the labs that you have done and I haven't graded yet and I haven't handed back to you yet, they're going to go in as 100%. So what's going to take the place of labs and workshops, these will be posted about once a week apart until the end of the semester. And just like the online survey, the due dates will be specified per assignment. So also I mentioned something about doing a COVID-19 paper, a one-page paper. And some people have asked me, how do we submit that? Well, I haven't posted a due date yet or a format to submit it in. So you don't have to worry about it until I actually post it. And the COVID-19 paper is really your own experience. And when that assignment goes up, I'll put more details in there. It's only one page and all of us can probably write a whole book on how it's affected our lives. So you just want to pick one thing. You don't want to be too personal about it. So that's how our labs and workshops are going to be graded moving forward. Well, here it is. Exams. We can't meet in person anymore. Can't have these proctored at the testing center. I can't come over to your house. You can't come over here. Uh, so we're at a very strange time for exams. So with that in mind, I'm going to be quite vague with these. And I can't give you any specifics in a lot of instances, but I can tell you a few things about this. So exams, we still have our three semester exams, but as a compromise, I'm only counting one of them in the final average, just one. We've already taken one. So for those of you that got 110, you've already got your bonus. You've already got your one exam taken care of. And you're welcome to take the other two. And I encourage you to take the other two if you want to really 
evaluate if you've learned the material or not. For those of you that completely bombed the first exam, this is your chance to replace that grade completely. So out of the three exams, I'm only counting one. And the other two, regardless, if they're lower, they're going to get thrown out. Your final exam, I said this on the first day of class and this hasn't changed. This must be taken by all students. There's always a student that thinks, oh, I got three really good grades on my three exams. I can drop the final. No, you cannot. The final exam must be taken by all students. And if a student chooses not to take the final exam, they're given a grade of zero for it. Now, unfortunately, due to the way things are, I don't know how I'm going to administer these exams. And that's why it says formats to be determined. So you've got to stay tuned for a couple of weeks until we get more specifics about how these things can be done. If things stay the way that they are, everything will have to be done online and most likely through Newton. But that's not something that I can tell you right now. Well, during this time, how can you get a hold of me? Well, there's always my email, and this is listed in the syllabus, but it's also listed here in case uh, you want to write it down. You can send me questions about specific slides or concepts, and if I think the whole class needs to know about this, I might make a video and distribute it, a very small little snippet. I'm also available on Google Hangouts. Uh, but you need to really email me to make an appointment. That'll give you some time uh, to think about what it is that you want to say. And generally, I can do this in the afternoons. I mean, between, you know, 1 o'clock and 5 o'clock, I'm pretty much at home uh, doing things. I might be making another video for you or putting things up. But if you can let me know uh, which slides or which concept, uh, we can Google Hangout and discuss it. If it's something I can just answer for you in, you know, one sentence or two sentences, I'll send you an email back. But if it's something that takes a dialogue, then we'll probably have to do some kind of Google Hangout. And that's it in a nutshell. So here we are. We're all in this together. Hopefully uh, you figured out that I've tried to make this a little easier on you. There's still some work left to do. But not as much work as face to face if we were seeing each other, you know, six or seven hours a week uh, like we used to. And now since we aren't seeing each other six or seven hours a week, you can use that time to uh, study the material yourself and to give you kind of a practice at how online classes uh, work. And there's an extra credit opportunity. I made a mistake in the first part of this video, the very first introduction, when I was talking about the coronavirus. If you can email me the mistake that I made before April 1st, if it's April 1st at midnight, it's too late. But if you can email me that mistake, I'll give you credit for a free lab. Now, if you don't email me, don't want to do it, I'm not going to give you a zero for it. I'm just going to leave it blank so it won't count as one of those grades uh, that'll be eliminated or counted in your grade. So, practice your social distancing and make sure you wash your hands for at least 20 seconds or so and look online for more things. And I'll put up the slide with the information on how to get a hold of me uh, till the end.